Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how implement sharp. Sharp is safely additive explanation. It is a game theoretic approach to explain the output of any machine learning models and it connects optimal credit allocation with local explanation using the classic safety values from game theory and theory related extension. Okay, so we will implement sharp. It is one of the way how we can use sharp to do the explainable AI. Explainable artificial intelligence, one of the method is usually people using the sharp and this is the code in here this is the link in github that we can download and install the environment in our computer in this github also have the tutorial how to install you can install through pip install shop or Fonda install shop and then they have so many library and variables because sharp we can explain any machine learning models okay deep learning example with gradient explainer models so we can explain what is the image yeah not only uh, know what is the image but also explain which part is important okay another uh, tutorial that we can use we can go to the sharp website sharp red the docs io and today we will learn about explaining image captioning image to text using open source image captioning models and partition explainer Okay, in here it already has all the installation procedure and then where we can get the open source model. Okay, so just follow this tutorial one by one and then install it based on your environment in your computer to running the shop. For example, here we are using the pre-train open source model from GitHub image captioning dot to get the image caption also we need the model zoo and then uh, download everything download the project in one folder and put it inside okay this also has the limitation and then this is how we can setting up open source model Okay, so it is important to follow setup instruction exactly as given below to ensure the notebook is run. Because if not, it will be uh, error. Okay, so first of all, you can clone the image captioning PyTorch repo in terminal. You can type this code to download and then put it in your uh, computer. And then change the prefix to have absolutely path of your image captioning this one is the location of your image captioning PyTorch and then download the model base and then info fc and sc base and then resnet 101 is also download from here okay so follow one by one and then don't miss any step because if not it will be error in a terminal navigate to the clone folder and type python and the ip install okay and then restart and clear kernel and then this is the code so where is this code this code we can download from this one this github and then we can download okay download and we will found that code now i will show you i already download so this is my shop 
okay this is my shop environment here and then uh, I already download the image captioning titles after that we will try the image example the captioning image captioning using open source so this one is our code okay now we can open in our Jupyter this is my environment in Anaconda I make sharp one this is the environment and then don't forget to install the IP install shop after everything settled so this one is my code image captioning using open source Jupyter Notebook now this is the code explaining image captioning using open source image okay so this is the same this is exactly the same with this one okay understand you got it now after every models that we already download in the folder we can load the sample data okay and then run don't forget to change your prefix because this one contain of the location of your image captioning uh, folder don't forget to change and then we need this one and we already uh, put it in the models okay image captioning PyTorch model so this is the folder of image captioning PyTorch master okay. this is our model this is Su this one is the Infos FC and FC best. Okay, so all put in the same folder to so found this one. Now after finish, we can run and run. Okay, wait, wait for a while. Okay, this one is loading image. One, two, three, four. So, what, what image we read is in test image notebooks image example captioning test image. Nah, so for first image, it say a woman sitting on a bench. Okay. Let me write in the word so you can get exactly what they, uh, the output of its image, okay? So the input is image and then we use the open source data set to generate the caption. So through the shop, shop can explain what is the image about. Okay, this is the and this is the image.
So for image one, a woman sitting on a bench. Okay. For image two, a bird sitting on top of a tree branch. And then three, a group of horses standing next to a fence. And number four, a group of people playing with a soccer ball. Okay, so through the shot, we can explain or we can uh, get caption for its image. It's, it can explain any image. Yeah, that is why it say that text image from from image to text. Yeah, explain the captioning image to text. Okay. In here, we use the image captioning filters, and the model is ResNet. This one. Okay, and all the folders and the models already there and we just download and use it maybe if you interest with this kind of project uh, you can explore more about its code inside and then uh, we can change or we can training our model by ourselves and generate a good captioning by ourselves and if you want to change the image, you can change to this folder. Okay, show shop, notebooks, image example, image captioning, test image. You can change this image and then generate uh, another caption for another image. Okay, so this is another uh, tutorial that we want to try if the first uh, tutorial we use the open source image captioning now we will use the Azure cognitive service okay we use Azure cognitive service it's mean we need to have account in Microsoft Azure it's the same way uh, we need to follow the example one by one and then we need to create our account in Microsoft Azure So for example, this is my account in Microsoft Azure We need to make the cognitive service If you didn't have the account, you need to make it first after that uh, you can use and make the account through the cognitive service and you can give the name uh, any name is fine for your uh, project because in the cognitive service you will generate the API and then keyword and that keyword will be connected to our Jupyter code to generate the library for image captioning service so for example this is my account in cognitive service microsoft azure and then we can create one of the service you can give the name of your subscription and then research group and then for the region the name and etc uh, in this account I still use the free account if you register in the first time you will have one month free account after that you can pay based on all the service that you need now after all the name is finished you can review and create and wait until your key is generate now this is the example that the cognitive service multi-service account that i already make it by myself using my account how to get the api because we need the api to connect with our jupyter code let's see in sharp 2 and then 
we can open the minutes key okay so it has the status location subscription and then text api type and then pricing endpoint because in our code we need the endpoint and key for our service so this is my keys and then my endpoint we will use this keys and endpoint in our code okay so now open the image captioning using azure cognitive service jupyter notebook so this is the code the code is the same way like the first tutorial but now we are going to use the azure cognitive service and then we will compare uh, which one is better the azure cognitive service or the open source data set so you can place your azure cognitive service subscription api key and endpoint in here because it depends on your uh, your account it depends on your account to get the service from Microsoft Azure after that we can run one by one don't forget to change your path it is based on your directory in the computer because if not, your code will be error. Okay, wait. Uh, it takes a little bit moment because the service is from the internet, right? So it depends on your connection to access the Microsoft Azure Cognitive Service. So now we can get the results and the caption. Okay, we can see in image one, the caption is a woman wearing glasses. And this one is the image size. The image two is a bird on a branch. Image three, a group of horses standing on a grass and then image 4 is a basketball player basketball player in a uniform you can see the difference right between these two way from image 1 a woman sitting on a bench and a woman wearing glasses And then for number two, image two, a bird sitting on the top of a tree branch, a bird on a branch. It is slightly different, but still similar. And the meaning, it's still okay or reasonable. And then for image three, a group of horses standing next to a fence. And then Number three is a group of horses standing on a grass. Okay. And image four, this one is a basketball player in a uniform. A group of people playing with a soccer ball. So it's a little bit missing, yeah. It's not a soccer ball, but it is the basketball players. So based on this experiment we can conclude that microsoft azure cognitive service is better than just using the open source image data set but if you if you guys like to explore more with more image and then more cases we can try between these two way how to generate or how to caption image to text you also can 
be a member in the Microsoft Azure to get all of the menu and then service in Microsoft because I think it will be different when we just use the free account and then you pay your account the service also will be different but for learning I think it's okay if we just use the free account for one month and explore maybe if you like it more you can explore and then try again try the experiments how to implement sharp because sharp is very uh, useful to explain any machine learning models yeah and then in this video also i already explained to you how we can implement the simple way how we can implement image we can captioning image and then we can give the caption based on its image using two different ways i hope uh, you can learn and then we will see you in the other video and tutorial bye bye